Hey guys, Joe here from Prepper in the Woods. I got totally rained out today. So today I'm going to show you the first Tactical Tactics three-day backpack that I'm sporting now as my bug out bag. So I want to share that with you guys, show you the features of it. I bought it from Military First. Uh, they had discount going at the time and they have discount going on weekly. Uh, at the moment it's an Easter one at the time of this filming. So check them out. I've also wrote a um, blog about this bag on the Military First website and you can see uh, on days I took it out all the pictures of it and everything and details about the bag. I also put the specs at the end of the video and in the description box below I'll put a link to it. So this bag here is a bit of a beast. It's very easy to overfill it. So what I'm going to show you now is the 11 external pockets and 24 internal pockets. Also the laser cut plat uh, platform on here so if you want to put pouches on the bag it's really easy taking them on and off and also the bag itself is 62.2 liters so it is a big bag so let's look into uh, the pockets now <clears throat> so starting from the one here you can fit a full size wind up torch and that's all it is so it's a nice pocket there now moving on to the front here again you have that laser cut molly on it um, these clip on and off really easy and also you can put them on different points of the bag if you want to which is quite handy in here I have some clothes smog and that's it in that one and again you can see the pockets in the bag it's one there and it's just, it runs all the way down to the bottom of the bag and that's the same thing on this side here the next pocket up is your admin pocket so again pull it down it has multiple sleeves here all different sizes one big sleeve here which runs pretty much more than half my hand down and then it has a bigger one here which runs to about halfway down the bag here it also has a little key uh, fob bit here another one there so you can keep your keys on to without losing them in the bag but like I said, multiple pockets here, really useful. Stuff your pens, your notebooks, all that kind of stuff in that one. The pocket above that one is your concealed carry up zip. And that pouch there has a uh, Velcro liner in there. So if you want to put a handgun and attach it to the bag so the gun doesn't drop down to the bottom of the bag. Of course, we don't have that here. And this pocket does run all the way down to the bottom of the bag. Um, but that's a really handy pocket for, again, another notebook, maps. That kind of stuff. Going to the top pocket here, you have a nice fabric lined one for glasses or your phone, anything soft with a screen that you don't want to get scratched up. That's really nice. You have a grab handle here, which is really sturdy, double stitched and reinforced. So really nice handle on that one. And then you have a zip above that, which this one here, got some more stuff in it. It runs all the way down the bag and also has sleeves in it. It's two big sleeves there. Myself, I just keep my uh, charging equipment in that one, so I got my solar charger in that. But it runs all the way down the bag and there's a zip on the bottom of it where you, if you wanna keep your rifle, you could put your rifle in there and then clip it in the bag with these two clips here. So you can strap the sides of your, uh, your rifle uh, sling onto these clips, it'll run straight down the bag, all the way down to the bottom. And there's a zip here, which locks on the side there, but your bag would, your end of your gun will come straight through here. And that is all of the front pockets. So let's go to the side pockets now. So these side pockets here, run straight down the bag, and you can fit my basher in there. So that's my tarp. And I keep some Kevlar gloves in there. But pocket runs halfway down the pouch. And this runs straight down there. Which is really a good size um, side pocket. And again, again, same on the other side here. On the other side. I just keep my sleep system. Which is my... Uh, Mill spec bivy bag, and then you have another side pocket there. Now, on to the main pocket. So, now the main compartment on this it is really um, spacious. 
and a really thought out. So let me just unzip that. Now, it's clamshell, so it opens straight up all the way down to the end. So, and it also has, a bit closer, it also has these very um, mesh pockets here, which is a good idea because also they're Velcro aligned, so you can rip them out and then attach them anywhere else. Because on the back of that one also has the other side of the Velcro, so you can just stick them in there if you want. But you can move these around, or if you just want to, um, you know, use a hygiene kit, rip that off, take it with you, clean up, come back, pop it back. That works out really well. And you can also see what's in there, so you're not going to lose anything. On here, then you have these two side zips, which I keep a little survival kit, some batteries. Knife sharp and a multi two and a radio, and that's how big they are. So quite handy on both sides. But then I have my little hygiene kit here. But again, this bag is getting mixed around. I just put stuff in there um, to show you. So this side here, again, I got some food, my pouch, some clothes, my cook kit, my fire kit. My Gerber strong arm, my shred, multi tool, trousers, waterproof trousers, another bag, my lock picks, some more food, a saw, and a knee pad. All that in here. And that's when I said you could put your Velcro from one side, pop it in here if you want. But then for organization wise, you still have pouches on the side, uh, sleeves on the side. You have one long one, this one, and two smaller ones on that one. So again, organization is really good with this bag. On the very bottom of the bag, I missed that this one, I only felt it just now. I keep a rucksack cover. And mostly my flat stuff, which would be my maps and some pictures. But, and a fishing kit. But this runs this side of the bag, so another Nice little spot for anything flat so your bag will stand up nice. Now this part is just as important as the rest of the bag and people, a lot of people skimp out on this, but the padding on this bag is really well. Um, I had filled this bag up really heavy and took it on hikes and I haven't had any complaints with it. The straps are curved out which make it really comfortable. Fully adjustable here. I keep them a little bit tight normally so they stick out a bit I just jump into it. Now it doesn't come with a belt. Um, I just popped one on there. You can buy a belt separately. Um, it has your chest strap here. Again, Molly on this, Velcro on that. Um, you don't get any um, your straps hanging around. It has these little clips on them, which keeps everything nice and neat. Um, it's a hard plastic uh, backing to this, where they try to advertise it as you can use it as a shovel, um, uh, a paddle for digging, all, all the kind of, you know, stuff for that, but um, that's in there, so you have a good frame on this also. But the padding, like I said, the padding's really well. You have, um, it's a yoke, yoke style setup, but the pad, it's saying, look, if you look at the pads, quite thick, it's good thick enough, it's really nice. I like that, so that for me was a good feature because of the bag was so heavy. I'm gonna lighten it up a bit and um, go bare minimum. You also have, on top of this drag handle. You also have a handle on the side here and a handle on this side here. So you can grab it any which way at the point when you need it, which is quite handy. So this bag here, I've been using it for, I think about four, four or five months, probably a bit, maybe a little bit longer, but I'm really happy with the bag. It carries really well and it's compact, but the, the thing I wanted about it is I upgraded it from a hiking bag to this one is for the organization part of it. I like all the small puck. I like to get things when I want I need, when I need it. Um, is it a budget bag? No, it's a but I when I got it, it was 189 pounds on the website minus whatever discount I used at the time um, This week they have 15% off on everything on the website So it is worth subscribing and getting the emails about and for the discount codes and whatever So it is worth that um, again military first. I got this one from um, It's a good it's a good bag. Yeah, so if you're investing into it if you like um, You know tactical bags you know, from the 60 plus liter ones, uh, this is a good one to go for. So I do recommend it. Uh, it is tough. I got one for olive green, you know, oh, I like green. 
Uh, I could have went black. You do black, brown, a few other colors, but I like olive green. But thanks guys for watching. Um, I have a few other videos coming out. If this rain ever lets up, I want to go to the woods and want to do back to doing bushcraft stuff, uh, making stuff and whatnot. But um, at the moment, it, it's just a bit too far. Then when I get there, it's really, really muddy and I can't really film with uh, my iPhone out in the rain. Doesn't like it too much. But yeah, thanks guys for watching. And please like, share, subscribe and I'll catch you next video. Bye.